Hi, I'm Maths Vectors, exercise 5a, question 8. So if you had a look at this before today, you may have got a little bit confused, and that confusion probably came from the fact that I'd used part of number 9 and part of number 8 when trying to answer question 8. So thank you for the person that pointed, out, that pointed that out to me. I'll just quickly run through the question now. So these two vectors are equal, vectors P and Q are equal, so the X component, 7 minus X, must equal 11. 13 must equal 2Y plus 5, and 2Z minus 3 must equal negative 7. So looking at the X components, the top row, top rows, no top row, 7 minus X equals 11. So X would equal negative 4. 2y plus 5 must equal 13, so subtract 5 from both sides and then divide through by 2, y equals 4, and 2z minus 3 equals negative 7, so add 3 to both sides for 2z equals negative 4, and then divide through by 2 to get z equals negative 2. And that is us, so just remember if vectors are equal, then the x components, y components, and z components must all be 